let's go and uh, let's see if we can find this cyber psycho. Yeah, we still don't have Claire, do we? It's weird. Uh, oh, I can't do it from here. I need to. I need a road. I think. Power inverter for my pickup. Have you seen anything? Hey, V, come here. That must be a little closer now. Hey, Mitch. You doing okay? Yeah, yeah, I'm doing all right, but, uh, meh. So many dead. So many of them good friends, too. Do you know what it's like to lose your best friend? Yeah. Name was Jackie. Uh -huh. Rip. How'd he go? Like everyone goes in Night City. Anyway, come on. Help me out with something. What? Some loose ends. Final goodbye. I don't much want to do it alone. Sure. Okay, I'll help. Come on, then. You're okay behind the wheel, right? Yeah, and? We're going for a drive. Uh -huh. Well... And where? <laughs> You've been in the city a while, haven't you? You want to know everything now. Yesterday. A little patience, V. Uh, wait. Put this one up a minute. Now, I don't know how it was in your clan, but in the Aldecaldos, everything stays in the family. Used to be Scorpions, that rake. Now she belongs to me, and my old girl's right next to it. Nice wheels. Both of them. Damn right. Out here, those wheels are our life. I'll take scorpions. You hop in the other. All right. Let's go. Let's hit the road. Follow me. Oh, this one. What a nice vehicle. You hear me? Yep. More driving, less talking. Ah, uh, sun on my face, wind in my hair. Perfect. Oh, hey, haven't seen you in a while. Not a fan of funerals. You and death don't really mix. Say that like it's my fault. Never asked Saburo to put me on that fucking chip, or for you to slot it in your head. <sighs> this place is too far. Speaking of, where are we going? No idea. Not a clue. My, what a good little boy scout. So trusting, so accommodating. It's a scorpion. His last wish or something. Is that good enough for you? Great. Never a dull moment. You're a pretty nice car. Holy shit, Mitch! What the hell? Relax, V. It's what Scorpion wanted. He wanted you to stuff him in the trunk like a spare tire? No, he wanted me to take him here. And send him off with a bang. We set him up behind the wheel, douse the car, then light it, let him fly off the edge. Yeah, if that's what he wanted. 
I mean, if that's what Scorpion wanted. He did. Said it a million times if he said it at all. Grab me that can, will you? Here you go. Great. Go ahead. Put it in the passenger seat. Uh, I see the driver is already behind the wheel. No point wasting time. Jeez, man. Another hour or two, and he'll puff up like a balloon. Right. Shall we get this show on the road? Sure. Let's do it. Hell yeah. I already got a rag in the can. You light it. I'll start the car. She's burning! Quick, before she blows! May the road be kind to you, friend. Out with a bang. Just like he wanted. Holy crap. <laughs> I thought we were going to jump it for a second. I was like, no way. Soot and ash. That much remains. So... How about a beer? Sure. I'll drink to a send-off like that. Well, come on. Oh, uh... I don't even drink a beer. Ah. Nothing like a good cold one. Agreed. Mitch, why me? Why'd you ask me to help? Ah, oh, you seem like a good egg. I'm serious. I don't know, I, uh... I guess the fact that I'm still here to send him off right. That's thanks to you. Your path's crossed. Just for a moment. But damn. Was it the right one? Listen, there's a, a few things of his you ought to have. Like this little good luck charm. <laughs> Go on, it, it's yours. What is it? Not a clue. Scorpion always had it on him, no idea why. Listen, I'm gonna sit here for a while, all right? Brood in peace. Understood. I'll, uh, I'll be off then. Sure. Listen, if you want, you can take my car back to camp. Whatever works for you. Oh, and, uh, thanks, V, for today. And for getting me out of that shit back then, too. You're all right. You're really all right. That's what friends do. Why is my hands waving up in the air? That was weird. Wow, I got another level up. Um, percent faster use of health items sounds good to me. I do want to get that low. I'll do that one. Where's my car? Ah, there. 
I just explode? There's like pieces and chunks coming off it. Alright, being as I'm out here, I'm gonna go check this again. I'm pretty sure I can't get it yet, but if not, we'll go here. Try and take out this cyber psycho. Half down is foam. Let's pull a weapon, let's get out. Hey, Judy, what's up? Hey, can you come over, Stan? Uh, of course. Happen. Thing in here, why is my lights not working? They're completely smashed. Living in the UK, that is. Oh, now my lights are on. Is uh, to do a clear. Damn. Uh, no, I need to go to Judy. Travel is down here, isn't it? It's just the one I used before, I think it is, isn't it? Yeah.
Why does Judy need me? Please don't be Evelyn. Oh man, there was a time limit on that mission with Evelyn. <gasps> Got it. Oh. Please don't be. In the bathroom. Bird officer sucked to express oh, no. undying gratitude to you for saving her ass. Stop talking. I was, I was only gone an hour. Checked her pulse. V She's gone. Oh no. Got to do something with her. Don't want any trouble. I'm calling the badges. Can you carry her to the bed? As if that'll change anything. Uh, not sure we should move her before the badges get here. She's just another dead whore to them. Nobody will care. The least we can do is treat her with some dignity. Yeah, that's fair. Oh, Evelyn. Yeah, I, I need to report an accidental death. North side, Jackson Street. Oh, no. crap. Was that on me? No, I didn't do that in quest. danger. <laughs> Suicide. No! Today! What part of death do you understand? No, she was not pronounced dead by trauma team. If she'd have had coverage, we wouldn't be talking. And fuck you! If you don't want to lick your asses, why don't I come down to the precinct and trash it into bits? Now will you come and arrest me, you pussies? Fine, I don't give a fuck what you write me up for. Jesus. <sighs> They'll be here soon. <sighs> Told me to keep her on ice until tomorrow. Can you believe the balls? Welcome to Night City, where your address says more about you than anything else. We should have never come here. Put something on her. I'd rather she look like a person than a body. Could you wait outside? Sure. Close the door, V. Please. Damn, this just got harsh. <sighs> Bummer, Sig. Didn't know you smoked. <sighs> Quit. It's been years. But... Right now, I need something besides air in my lungs. Please, V, just one. Here. That was her smoke case. Want to hold on to it? No. He seemed to like it. Keep it. I'm kind of glad it's you that has it, actually. Fuck, Evie. I let her down. 
I thought if I gave her some t space or time, she'd get back on her feet. Yeah, I literally don't know what to say. I don't but... know what to say. Never was any good at this stuff. Oh, you don't need to talk. I did more for her than anyone else. I had a motive to find her, Judy. You know that. It's what you bring that counts. You gave her the freedom to choose. Yeah, maybe. Just never imagined she'd choose this. Her condition couldn't think about anything else. Tech wise, she was clean. Doll Shard was operational, uncorrupted. So, psychological trauma had to be that. Did some more digging in her virtues, found Woodman. He kept her and had his way with her. The things he did. And once he got bored, he pawned her off. I zeroed Woodman. Didn't plan on it. Just how the chips landed. Glad I did, though. Me too. I can't even imagine. If I hadn't, I would have gone back and done it. Still, it's not enough. There are so many more like him. Gotta be something I can do about it. Like what? Don't know yet. Think I'll call Sue's. Thanks, V. Sorry, but uh, I'd rather be alone now. Promise to keep in touch. Sure, you don't need anything. No, but sweet of you to ask. Anything comes up, holler on the hollow. Anything. This way. Ah, yeah. God damn, man. This is like. Right, let's go check on my Barry. After this, I feel like maybe I should check on him. Do you know the way down here, dude? What the? I was a bit twitchy on the steering, I noticed.
Ah, oh, am I going to have to go over there and smack some up salt? Look though, I can actually see the city outside. Uh, actually, I want to sell some of my gear. Uh, right, let's see. I don't have anything nice worth having. Assault rifle. Maybe. Nice level three one. It's kind of cool. Uh, yeah, let's get rid of them. And the green knife. One price of five hundred and thirty nine that like bucks worth of junk. A happy new gun owner, I hope. Very Very you fucking asshole. Oh I'm no, sorry, not another okay? one. Mendez, it's too late. He can't hear you. Your, your genes were fine, Barry. You were the strongest son of a bitch I knew. Why is going on over this game right now? I'm so, I'm so sorry, Barry. I, I'm sorry. Looking into the death of one Lucius Rhine. Wonder why you're not a cop. I'm conducting a private investigation into this matter. Good luck with that. And do me a favor, lose this number. I like PIs about as much as I like the Scopic Caliente. I'm no private eye. So what are you? Meet me. You'll find out. All right. I'm headed to Chubby Buffaloes. Be their stat. Oh, man.
Uh, what's that icon in the bottom right? Ooh, we've got a slide in this game. I didn't realise that. Nice. That was a smoke grenade and not a thing, wasn't it? <laughs> Imagine if that was an actual proper frag grenade. <laughs> Whoopsie. Everything's fine. I miss you. It just kicks out, doesn't it, on the thing? Steering. That goes from zero to hundred instantly. I'm not trying to put any pressure on you or wait, should I? No pressure. Is that like a comic or type jokey reply? Because I feel like that's the sort of thing I would say. <laughs> yeah, okay, she took it funny. Thank god. the freeway here. And that's that. Oh, cool. Uh, I've 
lost the ability to move forward. Okay, it won't let me go any further forward than that. Uh, back. I'll park here then if I can't park it. Jeez. Yeah, let me just quickly save it. Play these. Oh, we can. No. Oh my guy can actually play this game. That's cool. I like this. Oh, what? I was not expecting that. Like this one. Let's get on with it. Ah. Someone here to see you, looks like. Huh. Wonder what about. You River Ward? In the flesh. V, right? My partner, Detective Hun. Mind if we step off to the side? Hun and me, we're like one mind. Got no secrets. Mm -hmm. You really intend to work with a merc? Don't know what I intend just yet. For now, I'm gonna see if I hear anything new about Ryan's death. You back on that? Boss already told you to drop it. Don't make him say it again. You know he hates to say things twice. And if you couldn't give a rat's fat ass about any of that, heed my advice, as your friend. Just let the case go. See me do anything? Just sitting here, sipping coffee, listening to gossip. Fine. Do what you want. I'm not about to be part of this. Gotta go get my little girl anyway. And you two at least find a quieter corner. Wouldn't want to be overheard. Space to okay. Talk. The Crystal Palace. Feel alive in the dead of space. For the attack, you wanted to talk to Ryan's hustle. Get some info to them. What was it? Let me ask you a question first. Why do you got your nose in this? Who hired you? Oh, who do you think? Liz Perales hired me. And her husband, Jefferson. The presumed future mayor. <laughs> Guess I could have seen that coming. You know what? Han was right. Acoustics are a little too good in here. Got my car outside. Okay, okay sure. What is this music, man? Jeez. Some of the boys from the precinct saw Horvath around Arroyo, shooting up dumpsters. It's my car Wondering how he's got to meet with the mayor. Brought him in. Brought who in? Peter Horvath. Cyber psycho who attacked the mayor later. They took him downtown, but then he got lost before they could get his statement. Hmm. Said he got lost. How's that happen? What's it mean? means someone didn't want him counting roaches in a cell that day. And before you ask me, no. I got no idea who. My turn. Why is Perales looking at this now? Why does he want it done unofficial on the hush-hush? Perales could just be scared. Doesn't want the job of a guy who just got carried out feet first? <laughs> who would? 
Yeah, this is an inside job, isn't it? Red Queen's race. Heard anything about it? Know what it is? Maybe I have. Maybe I do. It got anything to do with Ryan? The guy was headed there the day he died. <sighs> Fine. We're gonna see my CI. All I've heard is some fancy ass club. No idea where to even look for it. See, I might know. Then we'll go talk to the woman Horvath worked for. Or actually, we could see her first. Up to you. Let's go see your informer. Club's a better lead. Fine with me. It's just Claire. This could be an awesome. Thank you, Chester. <laughs> uh, Captain Clientel. Oh, God. Dandelion cocktails. I don't know why I'm just shifting my head to the side to look up. We're just driving in a circle here. I swear you've just been down here. Yeah. Why are we driving in a circle, dude? Rain on the windows corner. Whoa, that break in was sharp. My guy works here. You go talk to him. I'll wait outside. Tell him Igor says hi. He'll know what it's about. All right, wait here then. What? You know, June? You remember my God, I don't know if I want to go in here. Right, let me just save it again, just in case it bugs up.